What's up friends, Chuck here and welcome back to XCOM 2 War of the Chosen. Alright, we're in a bit of a pickle. Um, and we have these blips of this avatar project uh, creeping up more than I'd like. And obviously the Chosen are getting, well particularly the Assassin, he's getting too much knowledge of us. Um, but what we can do is we can take on this here assault facility uh, pretty much now. However, we've got a power relay done in zero days. Um, which is hilarious because zero days is now um, and it's not up yet. So uh, We probably want to just waste some time time is ticking away Although it could be like 8 30 p.m. And we could be waiting here for quite the amount of time um, if we do choose to go somewhere so like if we go to uh, Like here Avenger plotting new course Ding Ding 8 30 8 30 9 30 there we go. <laughs> View facility. Okay, uh, power capacity. Ingrid Larson now available. Brilliant. Good old Ingrid Larson. So now we got power, uh, which is good. We've got quite the amount of power relays actually, and we've got twenty three out of 20, uh, thirty four power. So we've got power for days, and we can also um, chuck in a dude to one of these power relays to boost it as well, which is nice. Uh, now we are building a resistance comm here because we're getting low on contacts. To hand it to them. Shut up! These recruits lack in experience. They make up for in grit. And we're clearing the alien debris here. Now, um, I did mention in the last episode, I believe it was, uh, or it was one of the previous ones, um, more recent ones, <clears throat> pardon me, that there is the ability for um, units to learn skills from other tech trees and uh we haven't got that yet uh turns out I, I looked it up because i was like how have we not got that yet because usually it's one of the first things i get it's different in war of the chosen it's a different building or something um so there's a building that we've just haven't built yet and i can't remember what it's called but it's like training center or something and we just haven't built it yet because it was i don't know why so that's the one it's been split up between uh two things infirmary and this new thing so we'll build that as soon as uh, we get this debris uh, debris here cleared but we may as well um, clear these right alien machinery clear this bubkis excavate let's get Ingrid Larson in here excavate this bad boy we have uh, yes we need that in there <clears throat> we need the person in the infirmary you're clearing this, you're clearing that, you're doing that, four days. So, we're good. We're good. I think everyone is in the right, their proper place. So now we can just go back to the map. And go and take on this son of a bitch. Setting course for Eastern Europe. Eastern Europe. Uh, and we'll get some Avatar Project blips down, which will be quite handy, actually. Alright. Look at those. Gremlins fly. As always, let's remove everybody. This is very difficult. <clears throat> uh, I've got a cold, as I've mentioned, and t today I've woke up and I just need to keep clearing my throat. I know that's going to be super annoying, uh, but I can't really help it. I apologize. So let's make everything available. Everybody is available as far as I'm... Oh no, Johnny Munchkin, no good. And Joel and um, Arrestis and I think maybe someone else. No, just those two. Uh, they're on a, uh, a mission, on a covert mission. So let's go with class to start with. Let's get ourselves a healer. Um, it's it's going to be Moon because he's been on covert option uh, ops for like the last thousand years, as it turns out, and um, he just hasn't been around. So we'll give him the old med kit. And the Mimic Beacon. He's got four heals with this, which is fucking amazing. Uh, we need ourselves some form of Tunkman. Tunkman is here to go. Uh, this is a very difficult mission as well. So we're going to go with Mr. Tunkman. Tunkman is our only sergeant of a Grenadier. That's... Oh, no, wait. N never mind. Where the back's there. All right, Tunkman. You're in, you son of a bitch. Let's give you um, some exosuit. And let's, we really need these improved weapons, man. Holy shit. I know I keep saying that, but it's true. Uh, you good? Let's give you a weapon upgrade as well, because you don't have one. Uh, what do we want to give you? 
Miss shot still deal one damage to the target. You are a Tunkman, so you're not going to be shooting as often as other people. So, expanded magazine, laser sight, advanced scope, advanced auto -load. You know what? I think I might do this, the miss shots. So when you do finally shoot, even if you miss, you do damage. Okay, good. We've got these personal combat sims that we haven't used yet. Uh, plus two mobility and plus one HP. You can have the plus one HP, because fuck it. You're, you're Matunkman. You gotta have your, you gotta have your shit. Next, we need ourselves a sniper. Okay, we've got spec, and we've got oh apex. Wait, hang on, hold on. He's tired. We're not gonna actually put spec in because he's tired, but we need to change his um his nickname to Waffle King. Yeah, King Waffle. Nice. Okay, let's get rid of you. And who are we going to put in? So, uh, soldier bond available. We haven't done this apparently because I'm dumb. You can bond with Joel. Shit, yeah. How do I do it? I always forget how to do it. Confirm that bond. Create a custom poster. Yes. Always. Randomize. Oh, wait. It was pink. Oh, it was perfect. All right. Pink and green. That'll do. <laughs> Take photo. Kemu and Elias, they won't rest until Earth is free. Buddies. What buddies? Okay. Uh, well, apparently I've, I've selected Elias, so Elias, you're in. Uh, you can have Spider Suit. Oh, oh, that's such an easier way of getting there. Holy crap. Uh, you can have a Flashbang as well. And a Spider Suit. <coughs> you're good to go, my friend. Next. We need... We don't know what we need, actually. Maybe the Reaper would be good, because of the stealth, like, can go and, like, suss shit out. Um, you can't take anything with you, which is somewhat frustrating. The Templar is still... No, you're a sergeant now, but we took you recently. Uh, we took the Skirmisher recently as well, because he's a lieutenant. Although, we do want a captain as soon as possible. So, we at the moment, we have one lieutenant in. We'll take... We're gonna take. Oh no, Fanboy's had like. Th he's tired as well. He's had like three missions in a row. I really want that captain though. Um, do we want to take two healers? They've got pretty good guns as well. You know what? It's kind of not a bad idea. An offensive specialist? Is, is Richie like good to go or is he fucked? Let's find out. Uh, coffee bitch. Sergeant, you're good to go, my friend. You're in. And, uh, why, why do you have a flashbang? That's stupid. That's better. <laughs> it's much better. You can have a frag grenade. Flashbang counts as a grenade? Well, that's balls. Have a skulljack. Alright, why not? Alright, why not? Alright, let's go through it. Got ourselves a healer. Which is good, with a mimic beacon. Fantastic. Let's just make sure that he has four heals. Uh, have you got? A, you don't even have a weapon upgrade. Oh my God, what's going on? Um, increases the advanced scope. No, we don't want that. Auto loader, free reloads. Let's just give you a clip size. Right, we wanted this personal combat sims, the mobility. Oh, this, we got another one of these HP things? Nice. Um, the mobility one we want to give to probably uh, a ranger, right? I think we'll just stack Cammy with as much mobility as we possibly can. <laughs> uh, sorry, I was checking your loadout. No, not loadout. Abilities. Yeah, you've got, you've got four. A specialist has a medic convert to the gremlin and gains additional charges as well. Fuck yes. So good. All right. So we've got a healer with a mimic beacon. We've got uh, all of the explosive stuff. We've got um, aim on our sniper. We've got another sniper that can go into the shadows and do stuff. And then we've got a flashbang with Skulljack. Uh, the Skulljack, unfortunately, we don't have the... Um, 
improved Skulljack thing where it does extra hacking, but we will get that eventually. But I think this is not bad. Uh, if there are robots, then Richie's got it covered. We can shoot from the back line. We can do some smashing. We can heal. Let's do it. I don't know whether two snipers was the best idea. Um, because a Reaper is basically a sniper. Okay, begin mission. Uh, maybe we should have gone for a Ranger instead of the Sniper and kept the Reaper as, as the Sniper, but it doesn't matter, we've done it now. Resistance contacts tipped us to an alien facility apparently conducting research tied to the Avatar project. We're moving in to take out the site and do whatever we can to slow their progress. Approach the designated target position and place the X4 charges. Then move to the evac point for immediate extraction. Once you're clear, we'll make sure that facility is out of commission for good. Okay, so we need to get in there. We need to place um, explosive charges and then escape. So, the, I, th I should have thought about this. Having the two snipers, maybe not the best, um, because the, the, the line of sight and everything inside a building, but maybe they can just be like the Overwatch kings from outside. Either way, we've done it now. We're not saves coming and all that stuff. We'll just deal with whatever happens. And it's not like they're scrubs. They've got, like, they're both upgraded and got good skills and stuff. Menace one five. Target coordinates are locked in. Move to designated position and place the X4 charges. I'm on it. La nostra posizione è segreta. Yep. Absolutely 100% agree with that one. Okay, we are concealed. There is no time limit. We can take our time. So we'll do Heading just that. Location. Talkman. Get in here. You can see some shit. Okay, that's fine. Overwatch with you, my friend. Uh, you can run for days, but you can't quite get to... Can anyone else get to that tree? No. Fuck it. My god, these guys can run. Alright. Moving <clears throat> out. Down you go. You will never hide from me. And I'll keep an eye on it. Watch. Coffee bitch. Everyone else is just gonna have to do the dash for cash, I think. Got it. Because we're too far away. Uh <laughs> dirty man. Elias the Mediocre, uh, which was his his uh, nickname that he wanted. Get you to high cover. Oh, Jesus. Okay. Well, there is a mech there, so that's good that we brought Richie, at least. Not good that there's a mech there, but you know what I mean. And our healer can go maybe here. So we've got quite the amount of enemies. We'll see where they go with their patrols and stuff. They're all pissing off, so hopefully if we engage this um, sectoid and these two. Okay, they're pissing off as well. Don't go into the dark. Why would you do it? Why would you do it? Okay, we can still technically see you, which is nice. Um, <clears throat> hopefully if we engage one, we don't engage both. We shall see. I think Elias is in a good spot. Uh, we'll move Nindo. We want the height advantage. If we move Moon... Mm -hmm. Okay, let's move... Let's move Tunkman first, right? Because <clears throat> we need to potentially... Well, we may not actually need to open with a grenade here. There's only two of them. <coughs> Pardon me. Let's get you down here. Position confirmed. Oh, you got two things of ammo... Uh, uh, you've got blast padding and you've got the exosuit, so you... Fuck. You're just, like, Tunkman and Tankman. It's nice. Okay, you can now see them, which is great. Uh, if we just play with the idea of a frag grenade... No, we're not going to hit them both. So, let's just overwatch. Covering now. now, can you get over to where... Well, you can get to here. Which is also sniper territory, I guess. There would be better, but that's, this is full cover. You're in full cover where you are as well, technically. But you can't see these dudes. Because you don't have squad sight, that's why. Okay, yeah, you definitely need to get over here. Moon, Move your ass. You dirty... Dirty bastard. 
Uh, let's put you in. Let's put you here. Moving to designated coordinates. Good. Have an overwatch. Scanning. Okay, you just have an overwatch. You get in here. I go where I am needed. You needed right there. Overwatch, and then coffee bitch. Uh, could probably come down here, right? Moving on target location. And Overwatch. On Overwatch. See, see where they go. It's not showing us where they're going. Nope, it is. They're just, they're just retreating. They're scared. They feel the presence of XCOM. Hang on. Didn't. Didn't you get the thing where if you see them, you see them forever? Any unit seen by a Reaper remains permanently visible. So, have you not... So, that's why we can see you. Did you not see the Sectoid? I mean, he's right next to it. I was wondering why we could still see him. That's fucking cool, man. I like that a lot. Okay, there's these dudes. Should we just... Oh. Um... I'm kind of tempted to just stay where we are and let them walk this way, see if they walk this way, because we're in a pretty good spot, man. Like, everyone's looking fairly tasty as far as positioning goes. We don't want to move up too far. I mean, Tunkman could probably do it, actually. You could probably go up here. On my way. Alright. Where, where are these bastards? They're gone. I'm going to do it. Overwatch. I'm just going to overwatch everyone where they are. Uh, coffee bitch. Maybe I'll put you over here so we spread out a little bit. Position confirmed. All right, we'll just play the waiting game and see who comes in range. Because I reckon. I reckon. I think we might be able to kaboom these guys. With a Tunkman. Oh, we can't. Where's the... Okay, they're, they're fucked off in a major way. If we put Tunkman here... <coughs> um, we can definitely, definitely get them with a kaboom. And considering it's... Um, uh, what's his face? because you know what I'm talking about when I say considering it's a what's-his-face. A codex might not be the worst idea. So if we put you here... That's a really good position though, man. You know what? We're going to do another round of overwatches. Overwatch. Everyone, overwatch. Let's see where they go. Come closer. Okay, they're all behind this rock. This is, this is the one. We're, we're initiating right now. Unless Snake Bitch has, has come back this way. Which we can't see. Where's Snake Bitch? No, Snake Bitch has gone for, for a walk. Was it this rock? It was this rock, wasn't it? Alright. Where's Tunkman? Were we on Tunkman? I think we were, actually. Can you get to that rock? Okay, we're moving you up. And everyone else is going to have the time of their lives. Let's move you to... Let's move you to here. Moving. All right. If we launch a frag grenade there, it's going to cause chaos, which is fucking great. Everyone else needs to move up a little bit. <clears throat> You've got the the height advantage, but you are about six hundred forty-eight thousand miles away from anything. So we'll move you up to. Let's move everyone else up first. Let's move Richie up to. Let's move Richie to here. Moon can go up to here. Moving to Overwatch. Uh, Elias can stay where he is. And then you, my friend, can come up to shit. I mean, these guys are a fair enough away that it's not going to matter. So maybe going. Here isn't too bad. <clears throat> well, we can go against this tree, but they're gonna panic and goodbye and run. Or we'll go here. I am at your service. Yeah, you are. 
You cannot run. Okay, good. You've got vision, and then now it is time. Everyone, everyone's done their things. Yes. Now it is time to tunk. And to tunk we shall. Catch. Nice. Ba, ba, run. <laughs> They're on to us. No All right, Overwatch shots. Please hit. That's a miss. That's a hit. Kind of. Is that it? That was it. What's going on here? Ah, uh, shit lips has turned up. You have been judged. Piss off, shit lips. Alright, let's remind ourselves what's going on here. Miss shots against the Trojan will generate shielding. Not great. Immune to explosions. Not great. Defense against, uh, increased against... Yeah, that sucks, man. Takes increased damage from close range attacks, of which we have none. Takes increased damage from Templars, of which we have none. So... Not bringing a ranger is starting to be one of the chosen. This mission just a bad option. Okay, he's teleported. And, and he's psionic out. bombing, whatever that is. Oh, that's that thing. This thing sucks, man. And shielding. I can't believe we didn't get any overwatch like we got two overwatches, that was it. Why, why are we not getting overwatches? Okay, suppression's fine. I don't mind that. Okay, so this big purple miasma of, of ball sacks, uh, what it does is, <clears throat> it completely takes away all your ammo. And if you're next turn, when it's their turn, this blows up. So if you're in this purple thing, you 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 take heavy heavy damage. So what this basically means is uh, that you need to move and reload. So you basically miss a turn. It's it's a giant shit. So we'll put Richie in here. Sure thing. And even though he needs to reload, if we can hack this guy and potentially like turn him over to our side that would be amazing but we don't have the super hack from the skull jack which is annoying uh we have a 78 percent chance to disable him or we have a 39 percent chance to take him over so let's disable him uh and then that way he just doesn't do anything for a few turns right we don't have to worry about him so much uh considering <clears throat> considering we can't attack if we reloaded it would waste a turn at least this we can do this this turn reload the first part of next turn and then shoot the second part of next turn so that's why i'm going for this 78 percent pretty good chance and we smashed it we would have actually unlocked him and made him ours but you go for this over this once we get the improved hack uh we should be a lot better but uh, and again another offensive specialist that's so good i could have just killed him with um combat protocol as well maybe but we're just disabling for now. <coughs> and that's his turn. So, fuck this stupid purple ball sack. Uh, we need to move you and reload. So let's do just that. That should be out of the purple thing. Yes. Okay, let's move you there. And have a reload. Rock and roll. Okay, Elias and Tunkman, and apparently you're also in the purple, which sucks. Uh, you've got this Claymore, and we have no remote start because there's nothing to remote start. You're still in concealment though, which is good. So we'll bring you over I'm here. You. <clears throat> have a reload. Cover me. I'm reloading. All right, Elias and the Tunk. So, maybe we'll go with the Tunk first. We don't want to use any more explosives because we've already initiated with that. Which didn't actually do a hell of a lot, to be honest. Um, maybe we'll get rid of... Well, we'll see what, who we've got. 80%, 50%, 28%. 80% against the mech, we don't really want because he's disabled. 
50%, 28. So we'll go for the 50% on this guy. And hope for the best. And hoping was not enough, apparently. Uh, you, 100% against the mech because he's disabled. 58. That's it, 58. All right, here we go. Nice. And a big kaboom. Yeah, you don't want to be inside that. That's a really shitty move, actually. And he's teleporting and flanking. He doesn't know that Nindo's there. <clears throat> Only two damage because of the armor. To miss. Here come these dudes who aren't alerted yet. You can never oh, now they are. Alright, well things just got a lot more interesting. They, they shouldn't have a go though. They just like, see us and move. Spectral Zombie. Which is incredibly loud. Oh god, there's so many enemies now. <laughs> The fact that he gets to summon them and they have a turn is a bit shit. Okay, he's moved into nowhere. Moon's gonna take a hit. No. Spectral Rupture. What does that do? We don't know what that does. We have no idea what Spectral Rupture does. Fuck, there are a lot of enemies. <coughs> Alright. Well... Outrider's still in stealth. Coffee Bitch is flanked, but he's got no option because he needs to reload. I'm ready. What can we do? <clears throat> I think the Spectral Rupture, because he's glowing and stuff, I think maybe when you kill him, he blows up. That's my guess. So we don't want that to happen. So we, we'll need to meet, <clears throat> move, I should say, these dudes. So we'll move Moon back here. What's over there? We'll move Tunkman back here. Moving to position. <clears throat> Got a 71% on him. Fuck, the freaking sectoid's there as well. We need to get rid of this son of a bitch. Sixty-six percent chance. He's right there. He's literally right there. Uh. Oh god, we're in we're in a bad shape actually. Combat protocol. We can. Okay, it's gonna eat through his. <laughs> I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. These zombies, I don't know if they're a massive threat or not. I don't know if we can just ignore them. I don't think we can. If we gas grenade... How much health do they have? If we gas grenade, that'll kill that other dude, and it'll do damage to these zombies. If we rocket launch, it'll definitely kill... No, it can't hit all three of them. If we rocket launch over here... That will... help? Oh, man, this is, this is a tough one. This is a tough one. Okay, let's see what Elias can do, right? Because he's got squad sights, he's got all the things. 100% chance of killing a zombie. 100% chance of killing a zombie. 100% chance of hitting the mech. 82% chance of killing that dude. 68% chance of killing that dude. You know what? Killing this guy might be alright. I just, I don't know what those zombies do. And that's what's...
that's what's hurting because that rupture thing I don't know what that means we're just gonna go for this please don't miss please don't miss fuck that's not good that is not good oh I thought last episode was stressful this is balls man we're we're in a major trouble I don't think these guys are going to get affected by grass grenade because the zombies because they're not they're like apparitions or whatever so me rocket and rocket launch is not going to hit them all or is it oh I can do I rocket launch and get rid of all these three get killing three people is not bad I think we're going to have to you know Bringing the pain. That sucks. That sucks a lot. Okay, turns out I was right with that explosion thing. We need to make sure we remember that. And we've got shit lips still as well. Uh, killing that shield dude did take the shield off everyone else, <clears throat> which is good. So now if we combat protocol the mech, we can basically kill it. So that's probably the best bet for Coffee Bitch, because always oh, got an 81% chance of just outright killing it, 43% chance of killing the Codex. Didn't kill him. Went off the armor. Okay, dirty man. You can only shoot one thing, which is the mech. That's all you've got. Mimic beacon could be an option because there's a lot of dudes. I think mimic beacon is an option, you know? Because there's a sectoid's gonna come and mind control shit and. Alright. Mimic beacon it is. <clears throat> and then we've got you. You can move. You've got an 88% chance of hitting the fight. We need improved fucking weapons, man. Uh, if we go here. We should be flanking the codex now. 100% chance. Crit, my friend. Crit! Yes! That didn't kill him. Not revealed. Brilliant. He's gonna he's gonna not teleport. Uh clone, sorry, he's just gonna teleport. And you're gonna teleport again. And Richie's gonna take no mimic beacon. Yes, <laughs> it's a mimic beacon guile. Okay, the mech is going to come up right in his face. Micro missiles, please micro missiles. Damn it. Okay, mimic beacon can take one more hit. Oh fuck yes. Okay, and now the sectoid's going to come up and try and like mind control him or something. No. Nope. Apparently you get two turns, which is a bit unfortunate. And who's gonna get mind controlled? Come on, put your arm up. Put your arm up. You know you're gonna do it. There it is. Zombie, fine. I have sight beyond vision. Getting a little toasty here. Okay, he's getting a little toasty there. Holy balls! All right. Well, we're in a better position now than what we were. That's for sure. You still a freaking thingy, so that's amazing. 94% chance to kill him, 88% chance to kill him, and we don't care about the zombie. Uh, we can move. 
We don't particularly want to be tongue lashed though. I think I might just stay where I am. Let's get rid of this codex. My expectations for them were exceedingly low. Good. Good, 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 good. Okay. Coffee bitch, you're in a good spot actually. You can just get rid of this guy. I don't want to spend your combat protocol when you've got 93% chance to hit. That's why I did the auto attack with him last turn as well. Uh, instead of combat protocoling, because it was 81% chance. I'm like, that's a pretty good chance to kill him without using his special ability. Uh, unfortunately, the armor said otherwise. Okay, we can attack this zombie, which is not particularly useful because, like, it's a zombie. You need to reload. Yep. You can get a pistol shot on the zombie. Why not? Nailed it. Elias is really good with the pistol. Oh, shit. Nice. And we've got Tonkman and Dirty Man. Okay. Tonkman has 71%. Maybe this is the gas grenade option? We're just, like, going gung-ho with grenades. Can't quite get there, but if we move up, we can. Can we move up to anywhere full cover? Yes, we can. I'm on it. That's the one. They're both um, living, breathing dudes, so they'll take poison damage. Um, excuse me? You saw... My fucking god, what is with this game? You saw that they were both lit up with that grenade, and they didn't take damage. There are some major bugs going on in War of the Chosen. <laughs> that was a waste of a grenade. A giant waste. It said it was good. It was not good. It was not good at all. Uh, fuck, I was really planning on them taking a few damage, like three damage, and then ticking, and then next turn being able to kill them. Not gonna happen. If we go here, do we, can we get a shot on anyone else? No, we can't. Can we get a shot on anyone else if we go anywhere? There's no cover anywhere. Over here? Still... Oh, well, we may as well just kill a zombie then. Uh, snakes are immune to poison. I should have guessed that, actually. And you've run around the poison. Brilliant! Put your arm up. There we go. Help! No, damn it! No! Good, 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 good. Perfect. Take a shot at the snake. Do it. Hit him. Fuck. That that poison has pissed me off, actually. I'm not gonna lie. That's that's actually annoyed me more than it should. Richie's no longer poisoned. That's good. Uh, and then Richie's poisoned again. <laughs> You're no longer poisoned. You're poisoned again. You're no longer poisoned. You're poisoned again. All right. Well, we've got no no grenades left, which is ideal. You got an eight percent chance, which is not very high. Uh, if we go here. You now have a five or a two because you're poisoned. Of course. Okay. Um, you will find my brother and sister more inclined to play your games, Reaper. I have no patience for. I can only blame myself. Yeah, man. It was my terrible. Is gone. Terrible. You can't. You can't see anyone. Oh, we need to. We need to. Where's Moon? Moon. Oh, he's panicked. All right. <clears throat> well, we can't hit anything because we have no freaking. Aim.
All right, Elias. 68 and 68. Sectoid's more powerful. Good. He's also um, thingy suppressed, so if he moves, we have a very low chance of actually hitting him. And the snake has a shot. No, tongue lashes. That's fine. That's actually not that bad. It does two damage or something. Okay, he missed with something. Oh. <sighs> it's so loud. Nailed it. Only the best. There is nowhere to hide. Ah, you bastard. That means we have to move. How long did you think you could hide? I need a med kit here. Okay, Moon is no longer panicked. Brilliant. Alright, so what we need to do is end the episode. I've just looked at the time. Um, again, we've been in some absolutely god-awful positions in this, and we're doing alright. We seem to pull out all the stops somehow and make it through. I'm not saying we've made it through yet, but considering the position we were in, we've done alright, I think. Either way, that was a stressful one. Holy shit. When we come back, we will continue on. Um, hopefully next episode we'll finish this mission, plant the, um, the detonator bomb things i don't know how the explosives work <laughs> uh blow this to kingdom come and uh gtfo and everything should be fine with some injuries along the way anyway hopefully you're enjoying it as always thanks for watching and i will see you next time if you like this video click here to see another one just like it if you're new to the channel and like what i'm doing click here to subscribe and become the newest member of the chicken coop if you really like what i'm doing you can find a link to my patreon in the description where you can help support me and help the channel grow You'll also find a link to the channel's Discord server where you can chat with me and other members of the Chicken Coop. And don't forget to hit that notification bell.